California has the highest number of scam cases reported, and now State Assemblyman Chris Ward is warning people to watch out. CBSA political reporter Morgan Reiner shows us how scammers ripped off one family and how lawmakers are trying to help. The 62-year-old mom thought she was being smart. She asked for photo verification of Will Smith and his wife Jada, which ended up being stock photos you could find on Google. But like many scammers, this one went after her weakness. Her adult daughter has a brain tumor and has had a hard time finding employment recently. So they thought Will Smith, the actor, he would be the perfect person to help us out. It started on TikTok. You mind, mommy? This account named Will Smith messaged Valerie Gibbs. He offered me a job like $950 a week. The user offered Valerie a leading role in a movie with him in a house of her own. But first, he needed Valerie to send him gift cards. And he asked for my Capital One checking account. The user maxed out her card and her mom's card. And I told him I was going to cut up all my cards. He said, no, 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 don't do that. Please don't do that. I said, I already did. He said, why did you do that for? Why? The two, both disabled and on fixed income. This is the picture that he sent you. Yes. Wanted to believe this was their shot out of poverty. I wanted to get out of here so badly and finally have a house that I could call my own. In the hundreds of messages they exchanged, Susan asked the user why a millionaire needed help from low income people like them to send sick people gift cards on his behalf. We asked him, I said, well, we don't want scandal. My wife and I don't want scandal because of what happened at the Oscars. They filed a police report, requested money back on Cash App, but they don't have much hope of getting the 900 dollars back. We're starving. We've been I've been eating candy for the last two days. It's a story assembly member Christopher Ward has heard versions of before. Up in Sacramento on a regular basis, we are working on legislation to make sure that any loopholes in the laws or other things that law enforcement needs to successfully prosecute and uh, hold those accountable are uh, afforded. Um, but one of the most important things that I can do are exactly what we did today, and that's outreach to my constituents and let them know uh, resources and information that they may not be uh, um, familiar with. Ward said lawmakers are constantly keeping up with broad trends so that they can change state law as needed. But he said for now, if this happens to you, to reach out to your district attorney's office, who should have an entire unit dedicated to helping fraud victims.